Beautiful. It is. It is. People will just want to come and hang out here now, man. Bam, this is awesome. The pool, absolutely beautiful. Never seen anything like it. If we don't have pool parties now, then something's wrong. This is your fantastic cabana area. Gone is the stage. If you want to sing, Kelly, do it in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a margarita, Carlos? <laughs> I'll be serving a lot of drinks out here. Uh, I'm hoping the business is going to absolutely kick off with this wonderful pool. Now that you have a stunning outside area, let me introduce you to your new poolside menu. Wow. Wow. Poolside. So you start off with a lovely, refreshing tomato gazpacho, beautifully marinated, seasoned lovely with extra virgin olive oil. Fish tacos as well. Oh, well, I'm going to eat all that. Yes. <laughs> and delicious fruit kebabs. Oh, this is great. Wonderful fresh fruit, mango, orange, lime, coconut, and seasoned with those wonderful green local chilies. A taste of New Mexico, <laughs> not Tuscany, Kelly. Outstanding. The tomato gazpacho is, is, is magnificent. I'm very proud to cook this food. It makes sense. And it goes with New Mexico. I think it's excellent. Have a good look at the menu. Get used to it. Because we're going to be pushing it big time. <sighs> See you in a minute. This makeover is the biggest I've done in any of the hotels I've visited. There's over $150,000 worth of upgrades, and I've never been happier with the improvements. It's exactly what the guests need. If I was Kelly, I'd be over the moon. Green chili, pecans, everything that New Mexico is about, we have it on the menu. We have the guacamole, we have the salsa. What do I do with the five cases of hamburger buns that I just brought in? And, and even more, hey, what, we want to spend an hour putting things away every night and then bring them out every morning. This is what Ramsey gave the hotel. Labor, 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 labor. <laughs> Who do I hire to do that? This is a lot of work. I can't, I can't, I, I love can't the deal with it. <laughs> and gotta go. Oh my God. There's things that I'm concerned about. The pool is outstanding. It's scary to me because I've got a pretty big job ahead of me now. And the linens, major pain in the ass. So many things that I'm going to have to do that right now, I, you know, I'm really like freaking out over it. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is raise prices. Callie is a little overwhelmed right now. I do believe she likes the fact that it's more New Mexican. Jesus, God Almighty. But Callie's Callie. Where's all my shit? Where's all my shit? What does that mean? The, all the other stuff that you took away. Uh, what stuff? Tell me. The, the, oh, oh, the tapestry. Oh, uh, I know uh, you took down all the grapes. Yes. Because it was covering a pretty big hole in that wall. Uh, let's show me. Show me what we. What oh, it's we not whinging, catastrophic. What are we whinging about? Oh, Is no, that what you're worried about? Is a plastic bunch of grapes? To hide this okay. where somebody hit it with a table. We can get your grapes back and you can stick plastic grapes back on the wall. Let me show you something for two seconds. I want to show you something really important. Just have a look at that out there. How beautiful know, is that? It's gorgeous. It's exactly yeah. what your guests need and want. Let me show you something. Oh, oh, there it is. I look at that amazing stuff there, and I look at this pile of shit in here, and you're starting to create a fuss, forgetting that this hotel is about the guests, and you start putting the tea on edge because you want plastic grapes. Here's what I'm going to do for you. In 15 minutes, I will clear all that furniture, okay, and I'll put it back in my van, and this shit here, I'll put back in there. Let me show you something. Oh, oh, there it is. I look at that amazing stuff there, and I look at this pile of shit in here, and you're starting to create a fuss. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. In 15 minutes, I will clear all that furniture, okay, and I'll put it back in my van, and this shit here, I'll put back in there. I am, I am. Uh, should we get for you, should, should we get in there and look for your grapes? No, okay. I am more grateful than you can okay. possibly. Okay, well, you have a very bizarre way of showing it. That's all. Thank you, Kelly. Sometimes what I say with the best intentions is taken with the worst. And to be aware of that is very good because that just means that I'm gonna be able to start thinking the thought all the way through before it comes out of my mouth. I'm glad Kelly's grateful, but I am worried as soon as I leave, she'll be back to her old ways. Plastic grapes won't kill her business, but if she carries on singing, that might. You mustn't take this the wrong way, and I hope you don't, but I grew up with a dad that was constantly moving. 
with our family, in and out of working man's club, bars, and singing every fucking weekend. Seeing him ruin his life, trying to be someone he's never gonna be. The other night, I watched you move from here to here. Oh, Christ. You shouldn't be doing this in here. I think there's a level of class about you, the way you hold yourself, the way you dress, the way you, you appear. I don't want to see you being laughed at. I really don't know how to, to, uh, to react, but obviously, um... Every time you're singing, you're not, not running one time. I totally agree with and you. Right now. It needs to be run. Okay, that makes sense to me. Good. Okay. I think Kelly's ready for a fresh start. So I invited lots of new guests and a local band for Maison's first ever pool party. Hi. Table four, four, five? Uh, 15, 15. 15. Hi. Are you good? Yeah. Having fun? Yeah. Gorgeous place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Fun. The pool party crowd are loving all the changes. The fish tacos are yummy. Awesome. They're loving the food, guys. Yes, keep it going, yes? You know my first job when I was 18? Hot wash, starters, running. But I wasn't running to glamorous pools like you're about to run to. <laughs> And the new guests are loving the colourful rooms. Oh, oh wow. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's <sighs> oh, I think this will work. People will like this idea. You guys really need to have something like this in Las Cruces because there's nothing like this. No. We don't have to leave town. We're here. We're here. Vacation. <laughs> I think Kelly's heart is in the right place, but she has a lot to learn about running her hotel. I'd like to introduce you to a very special man, Mr. Jeff Mayhem. Nice Hi. to meet you. Likewise. How are you doing, Kelly? I'm, I'm wonderful. Now, this man has a wealth of experience, spanning nearly three decades of running some of the most prestigious and luxurious boutique hotels in New Mexico. Jeff's a former innkeeper of the year. He's not just good, he's one of the best. He knows this business inside out. After all, he does something so well that he's innkeeper of the year. I want my guest to get the experience that his guests get. I'm gonna leave you two alone. It's kind of a lot of time. Okay, great. Right. We look forward to working with you. Thank you. So let's talk. Okay. Now, Kelly, clearly she can't turn back time, but she can insist on this place having a bright future. In one condition, she stays off that bloody microphone and makes her guests the stars and not a bloody singing. Can she do it? That's the million dollar question. It's the end of a long week at Maison de Messia. I'm really happy with the changes at the hotel, but it could still all fall apart if, instead of stepping up as general manager, Kelly steps back onto the stage. It's time for me to say goodbye. If you have that little urge that you start getting the tremors and you feel a need for the mic, I want you to run into the freezer. Stay there two seconds. I put your microphone in a block of ice. Now, this will give you two or three hours to defrost, <laughs> which will give you a chance yeah. to understand that the guests are the stars. I understand that. I want you to seize these changes and run this stunning boutique hotel. I will. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I found out from Gordon that I don't have a singing career, and that's okay. I, this is my career. If I could turn back time, come that bloody song out of my mind. Since my visit, bookings at Maison de Messier have surged. Welcome to Maison de Messier. Two for dinner? Yes. The new guests are enjoying the pool and the new menus. It's delicious. It's really impressive. I didn't even know this place was here. And Kelly is learning how to be a proper general manager. I appreciate you coming. You're welcome. Thank you. I really am very grateful. The man knows what he's doing. Thank God for Gordon Ramsay.
The Hotel Chester is located in Stampville, Mississippi, home to the Mississippi State University. Husband and wife, David and Susan Mollendor, bought the hotel in 2000. Before buying the Chester, David traveled the world as a hotel troubleshooter. Well, I worked in the hotel industry 39 years. Thank you for calling Hotel Chester. Wanted to try and settle down and give our kids one stable place to be. Oh, no. One of us got to get taller. <laughs> to begin with, the 36-bedroom hotel was a real success, packed with students and locals. How you doing? <laughs> then a sudden tragedy hit the family. They was coming home and was uh, involved in a, a, a major auto accident. We thought we lost him. That changed all of us overnight. He crushed his feet and was bedridden for almost six months. Well, David. Very David. In David's absence, standards dropped and customers stopped coming. Well, we were losing so much money that I had to file for bankruptcy. The financial losses have been so bad, the bank foreclosed on their home. So now they're living in the hotel. Living in the hotel, working together in the hotel. I feel tired and I feel uh, out of sync with the world. They couldn't afford payroll. So Suki left her job in real estate and took over as chef and temporary manager. It was my idea that we open a sushi restaurant. Never worked in any restaurant kitchens before in my entire life. Yeah, but I knew how to make the sushi. My mouth's confused. But despite her best intentions, with no formal training, oh. she's struggling. Oh. Oh. oh, where's my knife? Suki spends all her time in the hotel, so she's blind to the tens of thousands of students and tourists who could be potential customers. And the hotel's bedrooms and dining room are empty most nights. I just need this entree. Yeah, but I guess they're coming. You know, I see it in my parents' eyes. I see that they're physically exhausted, that they're mentally drained. My mom, she used to be lively, vibrant. She's honestly happy when she used to be. Man, I thought that I'm losing my mind. When I came to this place, I was 180 pounds of twisted blue steel, sex appeal, and mucho hell. Then this old bitch has worn me down to 200 pounds of flab, gab, and total no mas. With almost no money coming into the hotel, David and Suki are hanging on by a very thin thread. I need Gordon to help my parents because if this hotel doesn't change, it's we lose everything. This is it. I'm in Starkville, Mississippi's college town. I'm on my way to the Hotel Chester. Mississippi State University, founded in 1878. Any hotel with a college on their doorstep should be absolutely thriving, not just for the students, but with their parents as well. I can't wait to check into the Hotel Chester. Where is this place? I can't even see the sign. Okay, I'm pulling over here. I've got to know where it is. How are you? For the Hotel Chester. I've never been there before. You haven't yeah, been there? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I've gone around three times. <laughs> it's easy to miss. <laughs> easy to miss. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can't see any signs. Well, there may be one sign, but yeah, I mean, it's not, right. it's not too big. Right. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. The students never go to the Chester, despite the fact that it's right next to the campus. Weird. There we are, there. Historic Hotel Chester entrance as well. Such a huge building and such a tiny sign. It's madness. Finally. Morning, sir. Hey, good how are you? Morning. How are you? Good to see you, Gordon. Good to see you, and I'm David Gordon. David, nice to see you. Well, I finally found the place. That is so confusing there. You know that? There's no sign on Main Street. I drove straight by. And see him on the corner of the building. A tiny sign saying it's historic. That, that's what's historic about oh, it. That's, this has that. historically been a bad entrance. Now we have you in an executive king room. And then here's two keys for you, because I'm giving you two because men don't follow instructions as well as women. Okay. Or in case you get lucky, hell yeah. <laughs> 
So you're a hands-on owner. Uh, you run the desk all by yourself? My wife is the chef. She's taught herself. The meat lady? Well, can I finish my spiel? Oh, I thought you already finished. So, uh, breakfast is included. We do have fresh cut fruit. That's nice to know, fresh cut fruit. We, what would uh, be the alternative? Canned? No. Uh, no fruit, I think. Oh. Would be the <laughs> I love your sense of humor. <laughs> it's dry and very funny. Fresh cut fruit for breakfast. Yes, sir. Nice. Now, I just want you to know I'm not always at the desk. Okay. But you'll be able to recognize me even if I'm walking away from you because I'm the one who looks like he's riding a chicken. Riding a chicken? Yeah. I've never ridden a chicken. You have to show me. Oh. Well, you just have to look at my legs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll go get Suki, okay? Okay, great. That poor chicken. Okay, now. I've got a guest that wants to meet you. Oh, okay. uh oh what do you do with that? I am Lady Tamago. Gordon is here to help us out. And I'm terrified, but at the same time, I, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh! Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. And don't worry, I've had worse than wet hands. Nice to meet you. I washed my hands. That was very kind. Thank you for that. Huh? And Thanks. Suki, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. <laughs> What's it like working with your wife? I love my wife, so it's nice to be around her until she gets her nose out of joint. She has a chef's temperament. If okay. you're not familiar with it, right, well. they can fly off the handle pretty easy. What's your background? I'm a hotel guy. I was in Vietnam, and I went to so hotel, the hotel school. So you qualify uh, as a hotelier? Well, so in my view, yeah. Well, that's great. That's good, good to hear. Graduated with a major in hotel and restaurant management and I've been in the business almost 40 years. So, in a nutshell, what's wrong with the hotel? That's a question. We're not sure. We don't think it's a quality issue. Uh, neither for our rooms or our food and, and beverage. Why don't you both show me to the room? Okay. I've been a general manager of a lot of hotels. I eventually became a turnaround guy to take on problem properties. So my big surprise here is that I'm having a hell of a time trying to turn this thing around. We just call it an executive king. Okay. okay. This is it? Yes, sir. What is that? Swing? It's uh, leather, but it's a uh, rough leather and very difficult to clean. It's so bland, I mean, it's like a cheap motel chain. I feel like I'm in the witness protection program. It's depressing here. Yeah. So when was the last time the rooms were touched? 2003. 2003, so 10 years ago. Yeah. It feels like something out in the 1970s. Our hotel rooms are dated, you know, we try to call it period furniture. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It always tells you that a place is on the decline when you walk in and you've got walls that are a mess, scuffs everywhere, and big marks on the sofas that you're expected to pay good money to sit down with. So far, I'm not digging it. I'm going to unpack, and then like to come down and um, have a bite to eat. Suki, so what's your experience in the kitchen? My father had a sushi restaurant in Washington, D.C. Parents of a Japanese yes, restaurant? had. My did father passed kitchen? away. Of course. But did you work in the kitchen? No, just washing dishes. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I'm going to unpack. Thank you. Okay, hey. Yeah. Thank Good to see you, you likewise. Yes, and nice I'll pop down and have a bite to eat. Okay? okay. Right. Thank you. So, you know, I feel like the guy who walked into a bar with a big frog on his head, went up to the bar and asked the bartender for a drink. And the bartender said, man, I tell you, you got a problem, don't you? And the frog said, yeah, I'll I sure do. Day. Can you cut this ward off my ass? <laughs> God can let men talk. Bars and restaurants in a vibrant college town like this are always packed at lunchtime, but this place is dead. I'm Lindsay. How are you? Good. There you go. Can I get you something to drink? Do you have some ice cold water? Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay, my darling. Um, what would you recommend? Strawberry field sushi. It is uh, very popular. It's a little bit sweeter. I'll try it. Las Vegas as an appetizer as well. And then, oh, the Sakura. Five individual rolls rolled into one. I don't know how you execute all that Japanese food on that menu when you're not trained. It doesn't quite make sense. Oh, my goodness. This is not good. There's not a lot of people in Starfall that like our sushi. It's a little bit different from what other places in Starfall have.
Suki runs her kitchen the way she wants to. It always takes too long in between tickets, but there was really nothing I could do about it. This food is taking way too long. I've been waiting over an hour for raw fish. Oh my God, I can't take this anymore. Starfield, Mississippi's Hotel Chester, and I've been waiting for my lunch for a very long time. Damn it. Jeez. <laughs> I nodded off there. Oh my God. Does the sushi usually take this long? Yes, sir. What is this one? Las Vegas. Ooh, oh, my God. Salmon, cream cheese. cheese, and asparagus, and then it's deep fried and uh, comes with a jalapenos. Fried salmon with cream cheese. It's disgusting. What a strange combination. Very weird. It doesn't work for me, that one. I mean, it's just um, greasy. Um, we can get this out of the way. Uh, as quick as possible. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. My first impressions of the food here is that it's as bad as the rooms. Takura. Sakura. And there's cream cheese in the middle. Look at that thing. So it's pretty big, right? So how are you supposed to get it in your mouth? I've never eaten it before. Let's try. Come on. Me? We're in this together. Oh, no, you ordered this one all on your own. That's yours. That's yours there. Ready? Open one, please. Wait, there is no way this is going to fit my mouth. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Uh-uh, I can't do it. Now I know how my granddad feels when he puts his new teeth in. <laughs> Can uh, I throw uh, it away now? <laughs> so you took one little bite? I did. Damn, disaster. Total disaster. How did it taste, by the way? I'm very good. The Sakura is very chewy. Suki does try her best, but she has no idea what she's doing. What's wrong with the Sakura? Bland, ugly, chewy, strange combination. Chewy. Yep. And impossible to put in your mouth. Let me tell you about my sushi. I'm not a Morimoto or Nobu. Absolutely not. I'm doing my best, and I respect rice. What is this one? Strawberry field. Now look at that. Strawberry on sushi. I'm behind the only Japanese chef in America. I'd like to apologize. It's very weird. Which part is so just, you just weird? You, you wouldn't cover white tuna with strawberries and then glaze it. Strawberry fields. You'd rather fucking eat a beetle. It's too sweet. Strawberries don't belong with tuna. I am frustrated that Gordon does not like the Yamai sushi. I've tried all I can. How are you doing, honey bun? Uh, he doesn't like any. He doesn't like any of it. No. <laughs> so, truthfully, what is wrong with this place? Lack of business. So on an average weekend, how many guests would you do? On a busy weekend, maybe 12 people. Are they uh, in-house guests, hotel Usually. guests? Usually. So virtually nobody from the outside? Correct. Jesus. Anyway, where are the owners? Can you uh, tell me where they are? Sure. Thank you. They've got just 36 bedrooms, yet on a business.